Good morning children. Today is 20th August. Would you like to know the importance of the day in India? Today is celebrated as Akshay Urja Divas in India. All human beings are dependent on natural resources and these resources are available in our surroundings. Some are renewable and some are non-renewable resources. As world's population and India's population is increasing, there is tremendous demand for resources in world as well as in India. We need large number of resources to sustain this large population. There is more demand for resources in India and the world. Some resources cannot be regenerated such as coal, mineral oil, etc. as fuel energy. One day it is going to be exhausted, so we have to think for an alternative sources of energy. The most alternative source of energy is solar energy, which is also called as Akshay Urja energy in India. The scientists and the expertise have realized the importance of solar energy. So nowadays in the time to create awareness and give importance to establish solar energy in our region and hence Indian government is highlighting for campaigning and awareness program among people from 2004. So we have to celebrate 20th August as the Urja Divas chosen by the Indian government to remember our late Prime Minister Raju Gandhi as his birthday as Akshay Urja Divas in his memory. Raju Gandhi ji was the youngest Prime Minister in India at the age of 40. So he emphasized for science and technology development in India. He widened the scope of scientific development in India. Today's growth of communication and software is also his ideal need in India during 1988. He well organized telecommunication development in India. As India is located in temperate region globally, India has natural scope for development of for solar energy and sun rays and temperature favor Indian climate throughout the year. We don't have to depend on other countries. So with the aid of science and technology, we can advance in solar energy in upcoming days. The present Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji also supported for global solar development in the world recently. For this, he was specially awarded for international organization for supporting solar energy development globally and hence Indian government is organizing awareness and in solar campaigning program on this day. Let us pledge for better, clean and unending energy. Thank you for listening patient. Hi all, my name is Vignesh Santosh Karai. I am studying in class 15. As we know, 20 August is celebrated as Indian Akshay Urja Divas. On this occasion, I have made a small project solar LED kit. In this project, I have used solar panel LED bulbs situated on light box. Let me explain you how it works. When the light falls on the solar panel, LED bulb start glowing. When the light stop falling on the solar panel, LED bulb stop glowing. This tell us solar energy is converted into electrical energy. Thank you. Hello everyone. I Animek Raksit from class 9 Tech is going to explain about some inexhaustible energies. First of all, let's start with wind energy. Moving air is called wind and the energy produced from wind is called as wind energy. This kinetic energy of wind is used to generate wind energy from wind. Coastal areas, flattened hilltops and plains are chosen for constructing such wind winds. Now let's see how does the wind energy works for wind winds. Wind blows past turbines, rotating the blades. The kinetic energy is then transformed to mechanical energy. A gearbox spins a generator to produce electricity. Transformer converts this electricity to appropriate voltage. Electricity can then be stored or transported for distribution. Now let's see tidal energy. The regular upward and downward movement of the level of the ocean that is caused by the pull of the sun or the moon on the earth is known as tidal energy. 
Tidal energy is generated from tides. Tidal energy is being used extensively in Russia, South Korea, China, France and in Gulf of Kutch of India. Now let's see how does the tidal energy works. First, water moves in and out past the turbine as tides ebb and flow. Turbine turns generator modules producing electricity. Then the electricity is returned by underwater cables for use ashore. Now let's see biogas. Organic waste so that, such as dead plants and animal materials, animal dungs and kitchen waste can be converted into gaseous fuel called biogas. Biogas is being in use for centuries. The gas form is collected through pipelines can be used for cooking, heating and generating electricity. Now let's see how does the biogas work. The food waste is accumulated and put in a biogas digester. The outcomes of biogas digester are methane and fertilizer. From methane we get electricity and heat and from fertilizer we get food crops. And all these things are sent to our community. Then the food waste from our community is again sent to biogas digester. This is a continuous cyclic process. And this is how a biogas works. Thank you everyone. Good morning my friends and teachers. My name is Mohit Krantajne and I study in class 5th E. This is my windmill project. This is wind turbine and this is our house. The I will show you how it works. When the air blows, uh, it makes kinetic energy and kinetic energy comes to generator. Generator makes it, generator makes it electricity, electricity and it stores the electricity and it comes to our house. This wind turbine can also control the pollution and global warming. This is renewable source. It not takes fuel or coal. It only takes natural sources, wind. Hope you like it. Thank you. My name is Vahin Matra and I am from 8th class 8th J. Today I am going to tell about renewable energy. Introduction Renewable energy includes all energy that is not polluting the environment and whose source does not decay or whose source is replenished. Renewable energy resources Resources that can be recycled and reused are called renewable resources. For example, solar, tidal and wind energy etc. These resources can be used again and again in future. Renewable energy resources are also called alternative energy source. The major renewable energy resource includes hydropower, geomethyl energy, solar energy and wind energy. Importance of renewable energy. Energy has become an inspirable part of the modern lifestyle. Without energy, a very big question mark will be put on the existence of modern civilization. Renewable energy is the main pillar of renewable development. Renewable energy is the energy alternative that is infinite. Energy is directly related to the environment, conventional source of energy like coal, gas and petroleum etc are limited and are very harmful to the environment. On the other hand, there are energy options which are reputable and which do not harm the environment. It is also avoids global warming and climatic change. Important facts related to the renewable energy in India. India's renewable energy sector is the second most attractive renewable energy market in the world. India ranked fourth in the world in terms of total installed wind, wind power capacity. Conclusion In conclusion, it can be said that India will quickly achieve an outstanding position in the world in the field of renewable energy and 
द रिसेंट इंटरनेशनल सोलर अलायंस समिट हेल्ड इन द न्यू दिल्ली इज अ ग्रेट प्रूफ ऑफ दिस द फॉर्म ऑफ द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी इज गोइंग टू बी डिटरमाइंड विदाउट फॉसिल एनर्जी ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड the development and the research on carbon free energy sources have now come out of the lab walls and became industrial and business reality so thank you energy uh, in the when the kinetic energy of water is uh, has possessed then uh, it is converted into a electricity electric energy here we have a high reservoir a turbine a elect a electricity generator and a transformer here we have a dam built on a very height here is a higher reservoir the f- and there is a, some space there is some space in the dam through which the water can pass to the down side so from this empty space the what the reservoir is passing with a very high speed and here at the bottom we have the turbine and a generator and a generator connected to it so when the water flows downwards with a very high speed with a very high velocity then it this causes the movement of the turbine and as the turbine is connected to the generator the electricity is therefore generated by the movement of turbine by the which is caused by the high velocity of water now this generated electricity is passed to, to the all nearby areas by some transforming wires so in this way the electricity is produced from the kinetic energy of the water called as the hydroelectricity hello everyone my name is priti jaiswal and i am studying class 5th c and my project is electrical energy this is my project electrical give energy to electronic product this is led bulb this is television this is fridge and this is mobile phone now you are thinking what is the connection between mobile phone and electrical energy because we need some energy to get active that that energy we get from food now mobile is also getting some energy from electrical because it needed to charge and that is possible between the electricity it is a fridge and we kept in various type of item like food fruits vegetables curd ice creams chocolate when electricity is not in the home the ice creams chocolates and ice cube getting melting why because they did not get the electrical energy and when electrical energy is in the home they getting always freezing it is led bulb in the night we cannot see properly because the sunlight is not there and when we switch on the switch that led bulb is getting the electrical energy and it giving us light and that we will see where the things are the kept it is t television and it is also running on electricity this television we can connected to the electricity and that we connected from the wires some people are using generator and generator and inverter in our schools college hotel building there was lift it is also running on electricity we can we also save to electricity thank you good morning i am nihalika mandalu from class 5 h today i am going to talk about my project energy energy is the ability to do work or to make things happen sun is the elemental form of energy on the earth law of conservation of energy is one of the basic laws in physics which states that energy is neither created nor destroyed it can only change from one form to another there are different types of energies however they are broadly categorized as kinetic and potential energy let us start with kinetic energy wind energy is 
the example of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is associated with an object's motion. When the wind blows, it turns the blades of wind turbine, creating mechanical power. This turns electric generator, which creates electric power or electricity. We use this energy everywhere. Wind energy is a renewable source of energy with zero impact on nature. Let us see potential energy. Geothermal energy is the example of potential energy. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object. Geothermal energy is the energy generated and stored in the earth's crust. Due to continuous process of nuclear fusion, the center part of the earth is at very high temperature same as the sun. This high temperature and pressure melts the rocks and creates upward motion of the mantle. This ends up as a volcanic eruption. We use this energies in our daily life. I hope you understood something more about energy which is a fundamental form of living. Thank you and have a nice day. Hello friends and teachers. My name is Asha Sheikh. I study in 5th standard division I. I will explain you renewable energy and its sources. Renewable energy or renewable energy sources mean energy that is sustainable, some things that can burn out or inch less like sun. Renewable energy is also called clean energy or green power because it does not pollute air or water. Types of energy. Tidal energy, hydro energy, wind energy, solar energy, biomass energy. Energy comes from movement of sea waves for when tides change high to low or low to high. Hydro energy is produced by water stored in the reservoir for artificial lake. In the dam, water falls from height and its flow from hydroelectrical factory where it generates electricity. Energy, wind energy comes from movement of air or wind. For example, this is windmill. Transform wind into electric electrical energy. Solar energy comes from sun and reaches us like a light and a heat. For example, solar panel capture light like energy and convert this to thermal energy to heat water in house. Biomass energy is generated by living or once living organism. Plants are used for generate this energy. Advantages of renewable energy. They are environmentally friendly because they don't emit CO2 or greenhouse effect gases. They are limitless because they have obtained from natural resources. Hello everyone, my name is Ifra Haris Majid. I study in class 8J. Today I am going to provide you some information on renewable energy. Renewable energy. It is a finest source of energy that is not depleted when used. Renewable energy sources include solar, wind, geothermal, hydroelectric, biomass, etc. Now I am going to explain you each of them. Solar energy. It is raised from the rays of the sun and used for solar panels that helps to transform into thermal energy to heat water and generate electricity in the house. Wind energy. It is generated from the wind for the use of turbines that turns to generate the electricity. Geothermal energy. 
It is a process of extracting heat from the earth. Geothermal wells are drilled into the ground and a pump which transfer the heat and hot water from the earth up to the pipes which is a new way of generating electricity. Hydroelectric energy In this the flow of water is used to generate electricity. A dam is built to stop the flow of water. Then the gates are opened that allows the water to flow down. This flow of water that increases kinetic energy and turbine are used to generate electricity. Biomass It is an organic matter like plants that is used as fuels. Plants contain energy from the sun due to photosynthesis and when burn it releases heat. India is world's third largest renewable energy producer. India has over 136 gigawatt renewable power which accounts for 38% of total installed capacity over the year. India is an emerging leader of renewable energy on the global map. India has developed and installed many renewable energy projects in both rural and urban areas. No doubt soon India will be the world capital of green energy and will be able to provide affordable power to all. Thank you. Have a great day. Inexhaustible energy. Right? So inexhaustible energy just now our uh, students have explained um, the energy from geothermal or oceans, tides. These energies are very important nowadays because very important thing about inexhaustible energy forms uh, is it is clean fuel. It is clean type of energy. So this way, um, this inexhaustible energies are helping to conserve our mother earth. So at the end, I appreciate the work presented by all my dear students. And I congratulate all my staff who have given me opportunity, uh, who have given opportunity to my students also to explore themselves. And at the end, uh, the awareness is very important. So whatever knowledge we have got today on the occasion of this uh, inexhaustible energy day. So that knowledge, how we are using, that's very important. So this way we can keep our planet green. Thank you so much.